Japan machinery orders rose more than expected in November. Orders from manufacturers rose 3.9% from a month earlier, while those from non-manufacturers rose 6.2% for the fourth straight gain. On the phone with me now to discuss all of this is Lutz Karpowitz, Director of FX Strategy at Commerce Bank. Lutz, it appears that it is orders from non-manufacturers which has provided the support for November's industrial data. Should this act as a warning light for Japan's manufacturing industries, do you think? Well, I really don't think so. We have, we have to keep in mind that also the 3.9% fall for manufacturers was far above expectations. I think expectations was for, for an increase of 0.3%. And if you look at the data series, you can see that there was some kind of dip in, in the, during the mid of, of last year. But from that point of time, we see at least some, some slight recovery. So I don't think that uh, today's data are really a reason to be worried about the uh, state of, of manufacturing industries in, in Japan. Economy Minister Akira Amari cautioned this week that a further sharp drop in the yen could harm the country's economy. Minister Amari claims that excessive currency weakness could damage consumer sentiment because of higher import prices, highlighting limits in Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's campaign to drive down the currency. Is this a sentiment that you would agree with? In general, I agree. We have to keep in mind that a weak currency always means a loss of, of purchasing power for, for the population, and that weakens uh, the, the internal economy. Um, but uh, in, in the case of Japan, obviously, uh, there are some conflicting statements. In the, the one of uh, Mr. Amari you mentioned already, uh, but for example, Finance Minister Azo this morning already said that he's ready to still to fight the prolonged yen, yen strength. So this is there are conflicting signs, and uh, I would I would uh, expect that the uh, Japanese government is still in favor of weaker yen. All of this comes as Prime Minister Abe prepares to name a new Bank of Japan governor. Mr. Abe's government has the power to reappoint current BOG governor Masaki Shirakawa when his term expires in April. However, it is thought that they will choose someone more open to boosting inflation. The Abe government is currently negotiating with the BOJ to issue a joint statement this month to make the central bank accountable for achieving 2% inflation. Will such public pressure make these targets any more likely to be achieved, however? Well, we are pretty much concerned about what we see, uh, all this pressure on, on the BOJ. I think uh, the, the independent of the central bank is something very important, and this is uh, severely hurt in, in, in Japan now. If the BOJ becomes even even more aggressive, uh, they, they will manage to, to, to end deflation. There is no doubt about that. If you just increase liquidity uh, enough, uh, you, you're going to create some, some inflation, and especially in... In, 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 in conjunction with uh, more spending programs uh, announced by, by the government, this means that um, fiscal policy is very expen expansionary and, and monetary policy as well. Um, but so, so the, 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 the inflation target of 2% might be reached in the future, but obviously they have to pay a very high price because uh, an independent central bank is something very important, also for a currency. Lastly then, Lutz, how does all of this play into your forecast for the Japanese yen against the US dollar? Well, obviously, uh, this is always on, on, on the yen. So we would expect uh, uh, dollar yen rates around 96, 98, maybe 100 at the, at the end of this year. Because uh, the government spending even more, creating even more spending programs with already very high and, and dangerous debt level. And on the other hand, a, a central bank... Uh, fighting deflation, creating more liquidity. This is all something a currency or the, the FX market usually doesn't like, and that's why we would expect the yen weakness to continue. Let's, thanks for your comments. Coming up on Dukescopy TV today, we'll be taking a look at India and South Africa, as well as getting a Market Insider's forecast on several US dollar pairs. So stay tuned.